Thank you, Presiding Officer. The First Minister is more than aware of the crisis facing the NHS. Last week, a whistleblower got in contact from the Accident Emergency Department within the Victoria Hospital in Kirkcaldy, expressing their concerns that patients were waiting for over nine hours to be seen and that patient examinations were being conducted in the ambulances in the hospital grounds. Staff within the department believed a major incident criteria was met, but were not allowed to call or declare it as such. So can the First Minister confirm that no political direction was given to NHS Fife or any other health board for that matter to ensure that a major incident was not called? And will she agree to investigate why staff were not allowed to follow standard protocol? Yeah. First Minister. I uh, said on Monday, in fact, the Health Secretary has uh, confirmed uh, this to health boards in writing this week, that it is up to health boards, you know, seeking uh, advice and guidance from government where they think that is appropriate, but it is up to health boards to take whatever decisions uh, they think uh, might be appropriate to prioritise critical and, and life-saving care. Uh, in fact, Douglas Ross uh, actually started his questioning to me today uh, by criticising the fact that Greater Glasgow and Clyde have effectively done that by pausing uh, non-urgent uh, care oh, in, in Glasgow. Come on, so come on, the, this has got to stop. the action... No, excuse me, First Minister. Members must treat one another with stop. courtesy and respect. And I would appreciate it if there could be no interruptions at the moment. Continue, First Minister. So, in a sense, the, the point I'm making, Presiding Officer, the Action Greater Glasgow and Clyde announced last night demonstrates uh, that health boards have the flexibility where they think that is necessary uh, to take that action, and that is right and proper. Jack